Well, Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, and Destiny have collaborated, and finally they've given us this really cool looking armor set and a lot of weapons, and they've also given a raven and a mount skin, which actually looks pretty cool to be honest. So before we take a look at any of these items, I just wanted to go ahead and thank Ubisoft for actually providing me all of these skins for absolutely free. That's right. They actually gave me all this stuff for free so that I can showcase this for you guys in videos, and I know it's really cool and i love free stuff and especially the items in this pack it just looks absolutely stunning so far so without any further ado let's just get started the outfit that you guys are seeing right over here is one of the set that you're going to be getting in the entire skin pack of destiny so if you like it watch the video maybe you might change your mind if you like it or not i don't know so as far as what we see this is basically how the first pack looks now if you take a look at the inventory there are different perks that this one basically gives you now the first armor set that we have here is the large shacks armor set now here you can basically see there are different perks to this outfit one being increased heavy damage and the light damage when equipped and then there's also add some of your armor to your melee damage and range damage but i wouldn't say that i actually like it in an assassin's creed game because you know i'm just someone that just prefers pure assassin's creed games to look like a proper assassin's creed game i'm not someone that you know enjoys all of these different i'm just not someone who likes all of these fantasy stuff in a video game that could you know kind of be more realistic if they want to but then yeah it's a really cool thing that they kind of just collaborated with destiny and brought this pack and whatnot so i kind of like the helmet in here and we also have this really weird looking sight the weapons of course i will showcase all the weapons in just a bit but before that take a look at the outfit see what you like let me know in the comments what would you guys rate this outfit out of 10 my personal opinion it's kind of all right but when it comes to Assassin's Creed game, I'm a little bit judgy, okay? So as far as what we see, I kind of like this outfit, but then let's move on to the next outfit that we have here. Now, the first thing that we have here is that it's basically going to increase your armor and evasion when equipped. I think it's more like you have better health and armor. So if you're someone that is playing the game on a really high difficulty, I think this armor set is just going to get the job done. It kind of does look pretty good. It looks like it reminds me of some kind of an old Dark Knight wipe, but then I would say that it's really nice so this is basically how it looks it really looks cool when you have the hood on i don't know for whatever reason assassin's creed valhalla's cape mechanism is extremely hilarious and i don't think that ubisoft has fixed it so far and i would love to see if maybe they could do a patch or update where they could you know basically fix the cape mechanism drop a like on this video if you want to see a cape mechanism fixed and never return again in assassin's creed mirage this outfit i think probably somewhere around a six hour out of 10 now that's the max i can go okay because i'm not a destiny player and not a destiny fan i don't know maybe if city project red decides to you know collaborate with assassin's creed ubisoft if you guys are watching this collaborate with the witcher series bring us Geralt's armor into assassin's creed valhalla that would be one of the finest things to experience in the game so far trust me now the first one we have here in terms of mount is the galhorn wolf now this dude this just looks majestic to be honest i love it i love the way it is designed and everything it just looks cool and now let's move on to the raven which is also kind of like metallic and stuff also looks pretty cool to be honest at least now that i've completed the entire story mission and all that stuff i think there is literally nothing to do in the game so i could just you know immerse myself into all of these cosmetic items especially since ubisoft is giving it away for free so i thought well why not just go ahead and give it a shot and i kind of like it i love the mount so far i would just rate this an 8 out of 10. Moving on to the raven skin ladies and gentlemen the raven it just looks really cool and i hope that ubisoft gives us more free content as well since it's a helix pack and all that stuff you have to pay some extra money in order to get this so let me know in the comments are you guys a destiny fan are you guys going to be purchasing this what is your opinion on this one and it's really nice that ubisoft is doing some collaboration and all that stuff but then there isn't really much content to do as of now because the game has come to an end there isn't going to be any updates on assassin's creed valhalla in the future as well so if you want to take a look at the mount here this is basically how gorgeous it looks i'm, I'm just in love with this entire mount thingy dude it just looks it just looks amazing i love it all the metallic structure and everything i would rate this mount an 8 out of 10 i'm just in love with it and now ladies and gentlemen let's move on 
to the weapons in the game now the first weapon that i want to be showcasing is going to be this huge site that you guys can see that i've just hidden this is basically how it looks it looks really bizarre to be honest i don't know what kind of it looks like ubisoft just took something straight out of rainbow six quarantine or you know the zombie game that ubisoft created that's not really that great so it basically looks like that in my opinion i don't know kind of looks cool to some people i guess but my personal opinion it's all right okay so this is something that you get in the destiny pack it's a really weird looking weapon i don't know if it's gonna work on wolves so let's just go ahead oh you actually get one of these freezing abilities wow the ability is really cool that you can actually freeze your enemies something i wasn't really expecting so take a look at this oh boy and that missed that's embarrassing <laughs> okay that would have worked out really good if you're trying against the human enemies i guess and now the next weapon we have is the galhorn sword and now let's just go in and see what this one does so the first thing it does is a rocket is launched towards your lock target after activating the vengeance of thor ability that deals area damage rocket splits into smaller rockets and then explodes only activates when equipped in the main hand okay so I am supposed to be using one of these ability. Oh, dude, can you can you stop running behind me, sir? All right, there we go. And it's going to uh, kind of bring some rocket or something. Ooh, oh boy, that was awesome. <laughs> Although it was it was completely not like an Assassin's Creed game, but still, that was that was awesome to be honest. I like it. And now let's move on to the next weapon, which the Dawnblade Sword. Now, what does this one do? What is the magical power that this one hails? Now, a solar projectile is launched towards your lock target on a heavy attack after activating the melee fire strike ability. All right, so I need to basically use one of the fire abilities in order to, you know, get this working. So I need to basically lock onto one of the targets use the fire ability and then use um, a heavy attack and that should do it oh oh that's kind of just blowing up the enemies dude that's what it does it kind of just blows up the enemies oh boy wait a second i really like it but it's not really worth you know i i don't really like it that much to be honest it's kind of good and all but not that great in order to pay so much money in order to get the helix item dude but then it's kind of cool like i said if you're playing this after the post launch of the game you've completed the main storyline don't want to get immersive and all this stuff don't like realism i think this is kind of cool to be honest i like it so far look at the animations i'm gonna try this once again and see if it kind of works oh boy it's and the next weapon we have here is the thorn sword now if you take a look at the abilities it is um killing poison enemies with a drop of remnant that increases poison damage when absorbed now it is pretty much um you just dropping some poison ability and now moving on to one of my most favorite weapons so far which is the arc stride spear my god dude just take a look at how cool this weapon looks absolutely in love with this one it doesn't really have something really crazy in terms of perks and all that stuff it just increases your bonus damage but then you have this really cool electric animation that just goes on just take a look at this look at how good this weapon looks both electric blast now if you, can, you guys can take a look at this um this is how it looks dude oh my god i really love the thor hammer in this game mjolnir and uh, i think it's a really good thing that they're adding some of these animated stuff in the game as well unfortunately i can't find many enemies there's one over here on whom i can basically try this out on hello there sir would you like to electrify yourself with some of these helix items <laughs> all right there we go so that is basically what it does it, it's kind of cool and stuff i personally like this one this is by far one of the best weapons that i have seen in this pack as of now and now we finally have the shield which is the sentinel shield and the ability that you have the shield is when you have when you do this you know heavy attack combo you kind of you know you create this animation which is throws away your enemies it looks really cool it plays really cool one of the best things in the game so far i i just love the shield so let's just go ahead and see what we can do with the sheep right over here oh god the sheep is dead already they can't really do anything about it so when you try this on the new enemy right here i don't know if it works again and again but i think i need to get all of my energy back all right there we go 
now that that's done. So it's only going to work once, I guess. Not every time. All right. There we go. The shield is really powerful, dude. Oh, God. So let me just go ahead and give it a shot again. Boom. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just in love with this thing. You know, let's see how this plays out. Shield against shield. Maybe it's going to work out better. Oh. Wait, I can't use it. What? I'm going to run back here and boom, dude, the dude just got stomped out of here. Get out of here. All right, this is by far the best weapon that I've so far played with. I honestly love it. The shield is the best thing in the entire pack, the entire set, I would say. There's another dude coming here. So we, uh, let's just go ahead and finish him off with the shield, I guess. Uh, there we go. Boom. All right, loved it. <laughs> it just looks really cool. The animations and everything. Uh, let me just go ahead and try this out in photo mode, show you guys how it looks. Highest energy. We need a lot of chakra right now to pull this off. All right, there we go. So this is basically how it looks in the photo mode. Dude, it, it just looks so cool. Just take a look at the ability of this thing. It creates a sonic wave, a purple animation, colors, whatever. It just looks really cool. Let me know in the comments. I rate this weapon a 10 out of 10. I personally, I love it. 10 out of 10 weapon. I'm in love. So yeah, with that being said, once again, thank you Ubisoft for providing me with all of these really cool cosmetic items for absolutely free. How much would you guys rate each of the weapons, the outfits and whatever we basically got to showcase here in today's video? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you guys are looking for a YouTube channel, basically covers every single information that you need for Assassin's Creed, all the upcoming open world games, because this is what I do on this channel. I cover all the open world games, all the leaks, all the upcoming coming stuff in gaming in general so if that is something you guys are interested in make sure to go ahead subscribe turn the notifications on and the most important step of all set your notification settings to all so you guys can receive my daily notifications and if you don't receive the daily notifications that basically means there is something wrong with youtube so make sure you do it so yeah with that being said if you guys did go on and enjoy this content please make sure to go ahead drop a big fat like on this video it helps me out it helps the channel helps support the videos and everything i do on the channel for you guys please take a few seconds drop a like I would appreciate that. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Until then, take it easy, fams. And goodbye.